Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another unboxing. I got a big package. <laughs> Not a pun, so I open it up a little bit here because you know I suck at unboxings. So let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. It's a paper. Oh no. Well, that's a good thing, but. Okay. Uh, I have to put it here. Oh, that's... I got a lot of orders at once, and then I have to pay those, you know, that costs, taxes, thingy. Go away. So, uh, let's start with the smallest. So, where's the... Uh... Okay. Let's see what's inside. Um, <laughs> how do I open this up? Oh, here. So they are just putting it in plastic. You know what? I just. I just. Come on. Ha! Oh, that's great stuff. Maybe from the other side. That's better. So let's open it up first. Yeah, here we go. Now look at this. We got, you know, I'm just taking it first out of the box. Throw the boxes away. Here we go. Then we're gonna do this. So we are. More plastic. No, not my heart cover. So for... Go away. The Last God, Book of the Fellow... Spire Chronicles, DC Comics. So yeah, I've been eyeing this for a while now. Uh, the art is really great. I, I heard very good things about it. Uh, I love sword and sorcery stuff. Uh, although this is pretty new Marvel. Uh, Marvel, what I'm saying, DC. Uh, let's see if it's good or not. So guys, I'm gonna... Gonna lay you uh, this down because I have to get this out of the plastic. I cannot do that with... Or can I? <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. It's another Conan book. Very good. Why do the... Look at this. How multifunctional I am. <laughs> so this is the uh, the second book, I believe. Full free. Yes. Uh, the Sumerian. Stay there. Anyway, the Sumerian. Uh, I love the Blaze comics with, uh, with Conan, etc. The art is really good. So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit. Some covers now. This is the art. Man, it looks great. Whoa. And then we have more stuff. So there's a lot of content. And I believe this is as close as you can get with uh, Robert E. Howard's um, stories, etc. So there's all a lot of, you know, what's in the book. Uh, is there an art gallery? Oh, nice. Cover gallery, maybe. So yeah, this is all the covers. There's a lot of them. Looking good. Okay, so those are the hardcovers. Then I'm going to... Am I so lucky that I can do it? Wait a minute, how does this... There's an opening here? I'm not sure if this is good for the book. Probably not. God, I'm struggling. Again, maybe I should use the knife. Uh, okay, guys, just give me a sec.
So this all. So these are well new newer comics, if you will. And uh, it's been a long time that I have bought newer comics. Ah. So Black Science. Yes, this is the last one. Okay. So this is the last one. I got all of the um, the trade paperbacks. This is the last one that I needed. And now I have a complete... This is a fantastic series, by the way. If I, if you like science fiction, reality hopping, crazy uh, mature stuff... Um, yeah, this is... Uh, although the, the art looks a little bit cartoony, but the, and the um, colors are very saturated, there is uh, very mature stuff in this here. Uh, yeah, and, 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 and this, the, the writing is, is great. The art is great. Look at this. Yeah, this is this is amazing stuff. So, oh yeah, Skull Digger and Skeleton Boy. I was looking forward to this and getting the floppies, but I at the time I didn't know if I, you know, liked it or not. So I took a gamble and you know bought a trade paperback, and um, I don't know. It's just another. I just looked up the art, and the art is. Uh, very nice to look at. Um, not sure if this is something like Kick-Ass or something, you know, with, you know, people. I don't know what the story is about, by the way. I just looked at the art and I liked the concept. And uh, I just wanted to try it, you know. And if it's bad, well, that's on me. But, uh, yeah, like I said, heard, heard great things about it. Last but not least, well, I got more, but this is Alien, the illustrated story. And I was going for this, Walter Simonson, one of my favorite artists. I never cared for Walter Simonson in the past when he did four. Uh, I always, his art looks, I don't know, silly. But then I, when I grew older, my taste is, is changing. And um, I just appreciated his art more and more and more and when i see stuff like this guys look at this this is fantastic this is, this is really really good um because everybody knows him from four or beta ray bill um but i urge you to check out his other work his recent work on idw called ragnarok uh he is doing his own four and that four is way more fun in my opinion so, um, yeah, and this is a big one too. It's not a hardcover, unfortunately, but yeah, I wanted to get this edition. This is, I believe, the artist edition, but I'm happy with this too. Yeah, so now uh, we go on to the floppies. So, first of all, I got Ultra Mega, Ultra Mega is uh, kaiju stuff. Um, Oh, this is actually a thick one. Um, again, great looking art, very kinetic uh, action scenes. It's with big monsters and robo suits or something like that. And wow, okay, <laughs> yeah, this is right up my alley. Look at the art. Looks fun. Looks great. Okay. We got uh, issue one. This is issue two. Uh, there are some some covers that I really don't like, but you know I couldn't get any other covers, unfortunately. Wow. Uh, so I uh, otherwise I had to trade paperback, and I don't mind trade paperbacks, but I uh, I love floppies more because I can nice. I can review floppies way better than trade paperbacks. Jesus Christ, this looks nice. A little bit rough about the edges here, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, so I got Aerosmith issue number one. This is an, uh, probably the most rare cover they had. I just lo I love it because it it's evokes something, you know, instead of an action cover. And I always and I also love the an image comics publication instead of you know the I here. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I don't have the first volume 
because this is volume two, so I had to, uh, you know, go after the trade paperback before I uh, get into this. Also, here, great things about it, and the art looks very nice. I believe it's a war with wizardry or something like that, or magic and dragons. Uh, listen. Damn, look good, another Ultra Mecha. Uh, so this is what I meant with the with the cover. I don't really like this, but you know, um, it's Ultra Mecha, and uh, it's just I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> yes, this is up my jam. Up my jam? Is that how you say it? No, this is my jam. This is my up my alley, I guess. And I got the whole set. I'm not sure if there's more. I have to figure it out. Anyway, i just show you a glimpse of what is. Um, I continue Geiger again because I had a, a, a dispute with my local comic book store uh, that I ordered. He uh, sent me the wrong covers. He sent me doubles. Uh, didn't replace them. The communication was very, very, very bad. So again, I don't want to have this cover, but you know, um, if I don't buy it, then these covers, then I probably don't get the other ones. And um, yeah, and this is Elric issue two. I got the double from the other, you know, like I said before, I got a double. I don't want doubles. I don't want to pay for doubles. So uh, I uh, broke contact with uh, with my other comic book sh uh, shop. Um, and because, uh, you know, uh, it, it's for me important that I, if somebody tells me I'm gonna get you this cover and then send me another cover, and then I eventually have to pay for it. And that's for me a no-go. Um, the lack of communication, uh, the lack of emails, um, it really bothers me. So, yeah, unfortunately, I had um, break contact with him. And I don't hate that guy particularly. I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a nice guy, but he needs to get his things in order. Uh, Little Monsters, this is completely new. Uh, I love the cover, by the way. It's black and white with, um, with color in it. Well, color mostly red. And I believe this is about vampires, but I'm not entirely sure. That looks nice. Not sure if it's good. Like I said, a gamble. Then I have Life Zero from Ablaze. Um, this is... I forgot... Um, who, well, it says here the artist, but the artist had worked on, I don't know, Daredevil or other Marvel comics? Or DC comics. But this... This one I, I really look forward to. This is, looks nice. This is, I don't know, zombies or not. It actually looks great. Um, oh, this is, can, can we continue? What? Really? Oh, nice. Um, I don't ha I don't hope it's, oh, look at this, how uh, 20 pages and then, then go to the other. Well, I'm, Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, Gun Honey. This is one of my favorite comics at the moment. I uh, reviewed one and two, um, and I couldn't get the cover that I wanted. So I waited, and now I got the cover that I wanted. And this is really, really cool. I love this one. Oh, nudity. Don't want to show that. Sorry. Yeah, this is a mature comic with a lot of action, a lot of blood. Um, cool story, though. Damn, I should show it again. Sorry. Don't want to get struck or something like that. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is great stuff. She is an arms dealer. She sells uh, arms, and then she is selling to the wrong people, and they, well, shit happens. Let's let's leave it out. Just check out my review. Then uh, I got out uh, by Awa or Upshot or whatever. Three uh, or five. Wait a minute. Where's the rest? So I believe this is a uh, horror vampire Nazi thing in the, in the Second World War. And, uh, oops, that's something different. I have, oh, I have to go to work in 10 minutes, so I have to log in. So, um, okay, I know I said the word so a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just my go-to stop word. That's how we say it in the Netherlands. It's a stop word that means you say it a lot, like uh and uh, you know that. And then we have Noctera. Uh, glad I picked this up again. Noctera, another favorite of mine by Image Comics. I really hate this. This whole black thing. Check out my reviews if you know what I uh, what I'm talking about. Noctera is very cool. 
it's the, the world covered in darkness and then um, it's never going to be the sunlight is gone forever and there's creatures in the dark rising and killing other people as well and they there are safe havens and light is the source um, you know the, the, the road to salvation uh, really cool one this I'm going to review that later so uh, then we have another gamble black caravan called we don't kill spiders oh nice cover uh, again not sure if it's good I took a gamble I believe this is also a horror comic um, with Vikings I guess supernatural stuff uh, so this is the other covers of out I'm not going to show you everything and then the last one and then I have to uh, call it quits yeah so yeah I got the whole collection and we got we don't kill spiders issue number two looks interesting this is, paper stock is a little bit different it's a little bit difficult to handle a little bit here okay we'll see and this is a pretty new one by scout comics king's vengeance um look at this medieval settings dinosaurs i believe okay Ulrich. yeah that's a little bit of cartoony art style but also could be uh could be cool or not you know, sometimes I just take a gamble. And I don't mind if the art is, is different than the others, as long as the story is good and then keep me engaging. Uh, guys, it's uh, almost 20 minutes, so I stop. That's a lot of unboxing. I'm uh, going to review for some of them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. i see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like. Give me a sub. I'll see you next time.